hear something from the West Ham way. Hey. <laughs> and I'm joined by our two namesakes, Baz and Dom. Yeah. It's good to see you at me again, boys. What do yeah. you make of it, Dom? About bloody time we got a win. <laughs> You know what, it was a weird old game, weren't it? It had a sort of end of season feel to it, but the season's far from over. We got that European spot to push for. Uh, but yeah, I, I, we didn't even get out of first gear, did we, to be honest? Watford were terrible. Never happy. No, I, I am happy. I'm, we've won. Of course I'm happy, but I'm just saying. We, it doesn't mean it's not a bad thing, because it just shows how bad Watford were. But you know what, with penalties, oh. we, 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 it's like London buses, isn't we? We wait eight months to get one, then three come along at once. You know, it's typical in West Ham, isn't it? Absolutely unbelievable. So we have been, Sorry, we've mate. been, it's all right. Your mate? <laughs> <laughs> we've been awarded two penalties, as Dom's just said. What was your view? Were they penalties on the first yeah. one? Let's talk about the first one. Yeah, I would have thought so. The players know now, don't they? They can't go over people's backs, and that's what we've done. Listen, we'll take it. We've had bad decisions all year. If that's a good one that's gone in our favour, happy days. We're back. We're winning. Right? Everyone's happy. There's no one deflated, and every interview I've ever used, deflated. Yeah, well, there we go. It's good to see you smiling for once, Baz. I think Mike Dean, I'm going to throw this out there, had a fantastic game because yeah. the first penalty, a lot of people shout for a red card because he was last man, wasn't goal scoring opportunity, no, was it? No, 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 I don't think, I don't think, I think when you jump over someone, it's yes, a foul, but a red card would have been very, very harsh. They did get a red card, but you know what, but you know, I think, I don't like Mike Dean, I, I think he's an arrogant, arrogant person, but I think him and Mike Oliver are two of the best referees in the Premier League, the only good two, because everyone else is useless. They're about, they're about as useless as Joey O'Brien scoring a bloody Dimitri Pyatt free kick, isn't they? Stranger <laughs> things have happened. Yeah, I'm right. just throwing it out there. Second penalty, what was your view on that, mate? I was right behind it, mate. Yeah, and yeah for me, definite. Stay more? Yeah, 100%, 100%. He's gone through the back of him, you know. the back of him? Yeah, he's gone through the back. It's penalty all day long. There we go. Their penalty I want to talk about. What was your view on that? Because you're at the other end of the stadium. I didn't really see what happened, I'd just see him give the pen and I was like that, pulling me air axe, I had 3-1 on me bet, so I was thinking please and then Adrian's pulled out a binder for me, so that me days, I, I can't comment, I didn't see it, so tough. What it was more near, I think it is, it's uh, exactly the same offence for what the one we got at Leicester, he's dragged him to the ground, it's a needless penalty he gave away, but thank, thankfully Adrian saved it to stop us from getting squeaky bum times, even at 3-0 up, we don't half make things easy, do we? 130 quid. Oh, drinks on you then, Buzz. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> I bought me a drink at the bowling earlier, so it's my turn. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'll probably, probably spend me winnings at that burger, I'll be honest with you. But I'm joined by David and Ian, who have come all the way from Bristol to watch their last ever game at Upton Park. David, how did that feel, mate? Oh, what, what, what a heck of an ending that was. Like, I thought, hoping for another goal to cheer, but yeah, well, Adrian penalty saving a red card. It's just as good, eh? If this oh. is the final game to go to, you couldn't have picked a better one, could you? Uh, no, I mean, we've been to some good ones during the years, but to see uh, three goals go in is very good, yeah. Penalties galore, red cards, Andy Carroll scoring. I didn't know what was going on. What did you make of it? Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I thought Carroll's finish was fab. I think, I think it was nice to have a game where we could just, like, sort of, all right, yeah, all the, a lot of decisions did go our way, but I think the ref did get, you know, we didn't talk about him a lot. Which is what did you make of the result, Mike? Yeah, it's 3-1 from West Ham. I'm happy about this. I'm happy, happy about, about this. this. But better if the West can play Champions League next season, you know. Do you think we can pull that off? Well, it's very, very difficult now, you know, but... Especially the way Man City and Man United are yeah. playing. But better if they play Champions League, well, uh, because the next season we move in the Elizabeth Park, you know. That a new stadium, that uh, better if the West can play, you know, 60,000, you know, people are better if you play Champions League qualify, you know. Exactly. But maybe it should be Arsenal out. And West Ham play because, you know, last six years, always Arsenal play some good team, I always go out, you know. Let the try. West Ham play Champions League, you know. I think That's we deserve it, you know. to play Champions League. Exactly. New, nice, brilliant stadium, you know. After the, your players. after the Olympic game, yeah, it's very nice. Should be play West Ham in the Champions League, definitely, you know. Exactly. That's perfect, Mike. Come on, you Irons. Come on, Iron, yeah. What did you make of Andy Carroll's goal? He's put it in with his left foot. I thought he was going at it with his head. Yeah, I thought he was going at it with his head as well, uh, at least he's trying new things, trying to play with his feet now as well. Do you think he should go to the Euros? Uh, I think Creswell deserves it, and Noble possibly more than anyone, but Carroll's a big threat in the air, and to come off on the bench as well, like, obviously because they've got Kane, like, Rooney and Sturridge, I think it'd be good to come off the bench and, like... Different dimension, isn't he? Yeah, different impact into the game or something. Final four, where do you think West Ham can finish this year? Fifth. Fifth? Really? You think we'll catch United? Easily. Great shout. Come on, you irons. Come on, West Ham. This boy is trouble. <laughs>